Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Leo? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you come across this channel. Hope everyone is staying safe. To all of my subscribers, to my new subscribers, thank y'all so much for your beautiful, warm comments, your likes, and your shares. It means a lot to me. To new cross watchers, and my new viewers, come on in, take what resonates, okay? Leave the rest for someone else. Apply the gender roles and reverse the roles, how they fit into your life, all right? So let's get started. Before we get started, I just want to uh, just put a little note out there, okay? Um, I just want to say this is probably for people that's new to the channel, that's probably first time watching the channel, and but I just want to let you know I am not a psychic reader, I am not a psychic reader. I cannot foretell your future. That's not who I am. I am an intuitive energy reader. I read the cards intuitively. Okay? I am here to empower you. I am here to motivate you. I am here to speak life back into you. That's what my job is. I am no one to be feared. I am very enlightening. I am an enlightening person. I feel like I um, am an uh, angel that speaks through the voice. Okay. So no, I'm not a psychic. I cannot do, and I don't do any kind of readings like that. I am intuitively, I can guide you intuitively by motivating you, empowering you and uplifting you and pouring, pouring things back into you that is positive. Okay. Speaking life into you. So let's get started now that I've said that, Leo. Let's see what the message is. Spirit, this is for Leo. Spirit, this is for Leo. What's the message you have for Leo? This is for Leo. Spirit, this is for Leo. Yes, thank you, Spirit. This is for Leo. Thank you. All right, Leo. Let's see what's going to, let's see what's going on. Spirit, what is the message you have for Leo? What's the message for Leo? Right here? Okay. Two cards for Leo. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on in your energy. Right? Yes, you can. Yes, you can, Leo. Wow. The other card is you wanted to hang out too much with friends. Leo. You wanted to hang out too much with your friends. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please come into this reading. What is the message you have for Leo? Mm. I feel like some of you are stuck. Are you stuck, Leo? Or is your person stuck? But you saying that your person wanted to hang out with their friends too much. Or your friends is, I'm sorry, your person is saying that you wanted to hang out with your friends too much, Leo. Let's find out what's going on. Spirit, Holy Spirit, white light, archangels. Yeah. A lot of you are ready to take a new leap of faith. You're ready to start a new beginning on something else. Okay. If you've been thinking about starting a new beginning, taking a leap of faith, Spirit is saying, yes, you can. Okay. So someone needed to hear that. If you've been thinking about taking a new leap of faith, Spirit is saying, yes, you can. In other words, Spirit is saying, you can do it if you really want to do it and put your mind to it. Okay. So let's find out what's going on. Okay. Okay, so what this is telling me is that you're definitely, it took you some time to get away with this from this person. Um, you had some type of bond, some type of attachment with this person you was dealing with, Leo. Um, this person was juggling you, okay? This person had you and someone else, all right? The energy that's coming in here is friends with benefit energy. All right. Um, 
this person didn't hold back. They didn't hold back. You know, they didn't, they didn't care. They definitely didn't mind juggling you because this is the type of person that they are. I feel as though it took you some time to take that leap of faith and start a new beginning somewhere else. But they definitely hurt. They definitely put you through some hell. Because you have healed from it. A lot of pain. A lot of hurt. This person was juggling you and someone else. Okay? This person was juggling you. And they, they was more like they, they wanted you. But they wanted to be with their friends all the time too. It was like you felt, you, you felt like you was competing against the darn friends. They had friends like you. Every time you turn around, the friends was was friends was right there. The friends was right there. The friends was right there. Y'all couldn't even have alone time. Sit on the couch, eat popcorn. Not unless a friend knocking on the door, they coming over. Uh, Y'all couldn't even plan something. Not unless a friend say, "I want to go too." And you allowed it. I'm sorry, your person allowed it to happen. And so you kept questioning, you know, you know, this, I can't do this no more. You kept saying, you know, I'm ready to take a new, new, new leap of faith and, and start a new beginning somewhere else because you said, I'm not interested. I'm not interested anymore in this person. You blocked yourself off. You guarded your heart. You, you know, you, you reframed yourself from this person. Yeah, justice was in your favor. You know, you could have been dealing with a Libra, all right? You could have been dealing with Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini. Um, let me see. Heavy, heavy air sign. Very heavy air sign. But you said, you know what? I'm tired. You wanted to hang out too much with your friends. We couldn't have a long time. We couldn't do nothing together. If we was planning to do something together, it was all about your friends. Here they come. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. <clears throat> and I'm choking right now. It's like you never had no say. <clears throat> I'm coughing because every time you try to say something about it, you didn't have no say about it. You had to deal with it. They were juggling you and their friends. And, and this person, they was juggling you and their friends. So you just, you know, you felt like you just didn't have no chance with this person. You know, they wouldn't listen to you talk. They wouldn't listen to you. They're going through a partial tower moment right now. They're thinking about you. Okay. They're thinking about you, Leo. They're going through a partial tower moment. They're thinking about you. <clears throat> Spirit, tell me more about Leo's reading. Thank you. Yeah. Mm hmm. See, you're happy now. You're happy. You're very happy. They're the one that is, you know, losing control. They like, you know, trying to come towards you very quickly. Yeah, y'all always had to, you will found yourself always fighting about them and their friends. It's always an argument, always a fight about them hanging with their friends. And they just, they did ne never listen to you. You got tired of the BS, like I said. You got tired of their BS. They was doing too much with their friends. They was partying a lot. They were drinking a lot. They was hanging out. They was always with their friends, always with their friends, mm -hmm. with people and everything. And you said, you know what? You said, I got to get out of this. Spirit, tell me more about Leo. Tell me more about Leo. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you said, I have nothing else to say to this person. Nothing. But they miss you. They miss your energy, your touch. They miss you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't want this journey to end, Leo. They don't want this journey to end that y'all had. They don't want it to end. Yeah. They are stuck. They're stuck. How are you going to be stuck when I used to, we used to argue about this all the time. Your friends, you always was with your friends. You never wanted to spend time with me. We, you never, even if we plan to go somewhere, here they come. It's like every time you turn around, your phone ringing. Every time you turn around, they knocking on the door. You never balanced it out. You never balanced it out. It was all about your friends. It was all about your friends. And you said, you at one point in time, you was like, can I even get out of this? And it took you some time. 
to get away and get out of this because they wasn't going to change. They wasn't going to change. So you got tired of the BS and you say, you know what? I'm about to take a new leap of faith and start a beginning somewhere else. You had to do a lot of healing from this person and you're not interested. But yeah, they chose their friends over you. All they thought about was partying, hanging out with their friends, drinking, smoking, laughing, talking, going to their house. They come to your house. But when you ask them, can we, can we go to the movies together? Can we go bowling together? Can we go out to eat together? Can we do something together? <laughs> Look at here. Why, 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 why? Well, I'm going with my, well, what's your Bobby or Sue? She want me to go. Why is it always there? Why can't we do stuff together? Why can't we hang out together? Why are you always with your friends? And why is always, yeah, it was constantly, constantly. This is the five of ones in reverse, arguing, fighting. It was always arguing about this until you said one day, I am done. And you took a leap of faith and you said, you know what? I'm over this. Now they want to come back for a second chance. Mm -hmm. Now they want to come in the energy for a second chance. This is someone that you recently broke up with between six months to a year. You recently broke up with this person. They broke your heart. They broke your heart because they were so into their friends. They tried to send you a message, but it was delayed. It didn't go through. Yeah, you intuitively listen to your intuition. You said, I can't do this, this no more. This person is in denial. They in denial. They feel as though, okay, this is the energy just came in, Leo. This person, your person feel as though they're in denial. They saying that you was tripping. Like you didn't want them to have no friends or, or, or you know, you didn't want them to have no life. You wanted to them to be stuck up under you all the time. That's what, that's what the energy is. It's like they're in denial. They feel like they didn't do nothing wrong, but yet they want to come back for a second chance, okay? They want to come back for a second chance, but all y'all done was argue because all they did, they spent more time with their friends than they did with you. And so they in denial like, they just my friends. They my buddies. They just my friends. Like, how can you get mad and just break up because of that? Because... Their friends, they had you, you know, they, they spit the, let me tell you something. When you're dealing with a third party situation, it's anything that a person spend more time on and it's not you. And this person spent a lot of time with their friends. Y'all barely done anything together. I'm surprised you had sex together because I'm sure while you was having sex, one of the friends probably called. One of the friends probably called. One of the friends probably called while you're trying to have sex. Yeah. So it was just too much, too overwhelming. And you said, I can't do this no more. This has been your reading, Leo. Until next time.